This is a basic Excel waterfall chart, but this chart did not support how to display the percentage changes. Neither this chart support custom data label. So in this video, I will show you two format to display the data label with a small trick. Consider we have this data sheet. The first thing I will select my entire data sheet. Click on insert recommended chart. In this case, I will select a normal waterfall chart and simply hit OK. For now, I will increase the height and width of this chart a little bit more. Now I will click on start column. It will select all of the series. Click again and it will highlight only the first series. Right click, set as a total. Again, I will click on revenue subtotal. Right click, set as a total. And the same I will do for profit. For now, I will click on plus button. We don't need the grid line. And also, we don't need the vertical x axis. Simply click plus button again, click outside, and this is how we can create a basic waterfall chart. For now, if I click on this data label, click plus button, more data label options. There is no such option available. We can select a data label based on value from cell. I will close this window for now. And we need to create a helper column. For now, I will simply type equal. Click on before cell, hit enter, and now simply drag this formula till the end of data sheet. Now I will click on my chart, chart design, select data, and here you can see horizontal x axis label. Click edit and simply select this column, hit OK, and simply hit OK. Now I will click on plus button, more data label options. Simply uncheck the value and check category name. Close this window and this is how we display the name of category instead of value. Now you can see some of the name are very long. We want these into multiple lines. I will click on D4 cell. Instead of simply referencing, we need to type Substitute function. What is the text? I will click on before, hit comma. The old text in this case, we have a space, quotation mark space. And for the new text, I will type character 10 function. Simply close parenthesis, hit enter, and drag this formula till the end of data set. Now you can see each and every category data label on multiple lines. The next thing we need to display the value below the category name. I will click on D4 cell again. First, we need to type text join function. Open parenthesis. What is the delimiter? In this case, my delimiter will be corrected 10. Hit comma. For the ignore parameter, simply type true. Hit comma. And what is the text one? This is my text one. Hit comma. And for the text two, we need to develop the text function. Open parenthesis. What is the value? C4 is my value. Hit comma. For the format, in this case, I want h comma h h. Quotation mark again. Close parenthesis. And now simply close parenthesis for text join function. Hit enter and drag this formula till the end of data set. Now this is how we display the actual value along with the category name. The next thing we need to display the percentage changes as well. I will click on E4 cell, simply type percentage changes and we need to apply formula on each and every subtotal. So first I will click on revenue subtotal equal open parenthesis current value subtract this value from the previous subtotal close parenthesis divide by the current subtotal and now click on percentage icon this is how we calculate the percentage changes now for the profit subtotal again we need to create the same formula type equal open parenthesis the current value subtract from the previous value close parenthesis divide by the current value hit enter and now simply change this to percentage format 
and this is how we calculate a percentage changes. But now we need to convert these percentage changes to a text percentage. I will click on first percent changes. We need to type text formula again. Open parenthesis. What is the value? This whole formula result is my value. Hit comma. For the format, in this case, I want 0.0. .0 percentage quotation mark again close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we convert a value percentage into a text percentage now if you want to enclose the percentage changes into a parenthesis after equal sign simply type quotation mark open parenthesis quotation mark again and percent on the very end simply type and percent quotation mark close parenthesis quotation mark again hit enter and the same I will do for each and every changes now we have calculate a percentage changes and we have properly enclosed in parentheses we need to modify this formula a little bit more I will remove the very end closing parentheses hit comma for the text tree, we need to select the percentage changes, close parenthesis, hit enter. And now I will copy this whole formula, hit control C, click here, control V, control V and control V. Now if I click outside, this is how we can display the name of category, the total value and the percentage changes. Click on the column, right click, format data series. Decrease the gap width, let's say around 10%, hit enter. And now click on horizontal x axis, hit delete key because we don't need horizontal x axis in this format. Close the format x axis window, and this is how we can create our first format. Now, for the format 2, I will hold control key and simply duplicate this sheet. Click on the chart. Click on plus button. We need to display the horizontal x axis again. Now click on data label, more data label options. In this case, again, I want to display the actual value and uncheck the category name. And now I will close this window. Now I will delete all of the formulas in column D. The first thing simply type substitute function. What is the text? This is my text. For the old text, simply type space. For the new, simply type character 10 function. Close parenthesis, hit enter and simply drag this formula down. Now again, click on D4 cell. Simply type and percent. In this case, I will type character 10 function only. Close parenthesis and percent again. And now click on E4 cell, hit enter. Drag this formula till the end of data sheet and this is how we display a percentage changes along with the name of category.